From his 1,000-plus dominant wins to his incredible 22 Grand Slam titles, Djokovic's opponents have plenty of reasons to be afraid of playing him. But it goes much deeper. Tennis is a game where good cardio is essential to win any game. Any player who doesn't have fantastic stamina won't be able to keep up. No matter how precise their shot placement might be, a player who gets tired and gasses out will be dead in the water. As such, the guys at the top of the sport have insane conditioning and can keep going for hours and hours. Yeah, and professional tennis is filled with such monsters. Still, one man stands at the top above all of them, Novak Djokovic. The guy just never slows down. His speed and stamina are insane, and he's a nightmare to play against for even the best players in the world. Yeah, I'm talking about guys like Nadal and Federer. It makes perfect sense that all of these guys are terrified of this man, but the fear goes deeper than just his cardio. There's something that lies below that and allows the Serb to just keep going. His insane mental toughness. And when you think about it, tennis really is a game of mental fitness as well as physical fitness. He produces that. Hachanov laying into the ball, coming forward. Yeah, guys who aren't tough mentally end up breaking and they give up. The Serbinator isn't cut from that cloth, though, and the reason he can keep pushing and going all the way till the end at his 100% is because of this sort of toughness. No matter what happens, the Serb stays composed while the game is going on, and even if he has outbursts, his game doesn't change. This is very intimidating for his opponents. Oh, magnificent! Any player that steps onto the court with the Joker knows that they aren't just playing against his insane skill, but also his indomitable spirit. No matter how long the game goes on or how bad it looks, the Serbinator stays on his game and puts winner after winner past his opponent. Yeah, that's terrifying for sure. I mean, think about it. Wouldn't you be afraid if you had to play against a guy who wouldn't crack or slow down no matter what? Wouldn't that affect your motivation? A very aggressive brand of tennis thrown in the occasional drop shot. Lob combinations. Honestly, I can't stress enough how insane this man's resilience is. I mean, just look at how he dealt with some truly horrible injuries. Yeah, he's so strong mentally that he manages some insane mind over matter business every single time he gets injured, to the point that his opponents have accused him of cheating. That's so good because the sorts of injuries that he's walked back from aren't anything to brush away. Any regular player would be put out of commission for weeks, and this man walks back onto the court after a short break and wins matches against the toughest opponents despite these injuries. I mean, just look at the Australian Open title that he just won. The Serbian star was severely injured during the final, and he still managed to pull off a win. Imagine how frightening that must be for his opponents, to know that no matter what happens, no matter how well they play, in the end, Djokovic will keep trying to win. Yeah. From doing something that Rod Laver did back in 69. One match away. Honestly, this level of mental toughness alone is terrifying, but as I said before, it's not the only weapon in the number one ranked player's arsenal. That's right, we have to go over his incredible fitness. And I've already talked about his conditioning specifically, but it's important to talk about his fitness separately as well, because it honestly is just beyond comprehension. This man takes care of his body in a way that few athletes do, even at the very top of the sporting world. Yeah. He's got a whole belief system around his health, and he doesn't let anything into his bloodstream. He can get pretty extreme with his whole fitness situation, but the point of mentioning this level of care that borders on insanity is to make you understand that he's very particular about his body. He's got a grueling training regimen, and that's partly why he's able to run for hours without even showing any signs of fatigue. All of these factors work together to make this man terrifying. He's been, he's been. And as I said before, the most precise player in the world would fail without good fitness. Unfortunately, though, for Noel's opponents, the man doesn't just have good fitness, he's also unbelievably skilled. And he's honed these skills through his incredible discipline and relentless drilling. Yeah, the Joker has some insane power on his shots, and his precision is second to none. Now, pair this with the previously mentioned things like mental toughness and insane fitness, and you've got a monster on your hands. Saves a championship point and it will be a one-set shootout. The great champion. 
That's exactly what Djokovic is. In fact, one of his nicknames, the Serbinator, is an homage to his machine-like efficiency and ruthless accuracy. Yeah, no matter the angle or power of an incoming shot, this man returns it. He breaks the spirits of his opponents by winning their best rallies, and his own game stays top-notch throughout any pressure that he may be under. Just talking about this is making me feel sorry for all the guys he's crushed, and as far as I'm concerned, there's no shame in anyone being afraid of this man. Also, he's not just good, he's a tried and tested champ. No one can doubt his skill, especially when you take a look at his record. He's got a better overall record against both Nadal and Federer. Insane as this may sound, it's the undeniable truth. I'll level with you guys, both the Spaniard Nadal and the Swiss legend Federer are way more likable than Djokovic. I mean, compared to them, Novak frankly just looks like a brat sometimes. And then, when you consider the epic rivalry turned friendship that these two legends gave us, yeah, no one wanted to accept for the longest time that maybe the Serb was the best out of the three-headed demon that ruled over tennis. But now, after Roger has retired and the King of Clay is clearly past his prime, there's no denying it, not only has Noel matched Nadal for the most Grand Slams ever, but it is a fact that throughout his career, the Spaniard has faced long losing sprees against the serve. Oh yes, well no issue with his movement there. And the same goes for Federer. It's honestly not surprising that he has better overall records against these two, and it's a testament to his insane skill and talent. And you can bet that if the insane numbers that this man has put up aren't enough to scare the other pro players, the knowledge that he's better than the Swiss King and the King of Clay is enough to demoralize the best of the best. All of these factors are terrifying for sure, and they add to one final weapon that this Serbian star has that makes the other pros fear playing against him. coolness personified. I'm talking about his incredibly powerful presence on the court. Yeah, because of all these other things, like the very fact of this man's greatness, he's got this intense aura that intimidates anyone unlucky enough to wind up playing him. Plus, Noel's been known to lean into his intimidating aura, and he'll stare down opponents and try to get into their heads. That's scary, especially if you're aware that the guy you're up against is the most dominant player in the history of the sport. Well, I was ready. His intense focus and sheer will to win, and his confidence that his opponent will be crushed, leads to chills going down even the spectator's spines. Joker is terrifying, and I feel sorry for all of his opponents. Those were the craziest reasons that tennis players are afraid to play against Novak Djokovic.